What's up everyone, this is Cybernat8610, and today we're going to be opening up a Poseidra value box. Of course, like I told you guys, I would get this. And uh, yeah, it has the giant Poseidra card, uh, Poseidra the Atlantean Dragon, I guess, full name. And uh, of course you get packs, you get the structure deck, it's... I think it came out the same day as the Blue Eyes Structure Deck, but of course it's kind of hard to find, and as you can, uh, or it's hard for me to find around here, I don't know, it might be easier for others. I had to order online because Walmart or Target didn't have it. It's uh, $20, so I assume it would be the same price everywhere. Alright, let's open this up. Of course, I'll we'll probably do a, uh, like, show off my collection of giant Yu-Gi-Oh cards at some point, if you guys want to see that. I was waiting on these value boxes before I did. Hoping some more value boxes will get announced. I know some people like these, some people don't. I like them. I'm hoping for more of them. Ouch. <laughs> Paper cut. I'm opening the box. Oh well. <laughs> Alright. Our giant card, if we can get to that first. Well, that's it. I guess stuck behind it. There we go. Structure deck was kind of keeping it there. Of course, we have beside you the Atlantean Dragon. So yeah, looks nice. Uh, you can't use them in a duel, of course. I feel like I should always say that. <laughs> I still wish they were like holographic or something though. They look nice. They really do look cool. Eventually, maybe uh, since they're making all these giant cards, we'll be able to make a deck out of them. That'd be hilarious. Oh, the dreaded glue. There we go. I'm really not that weak. It's just the glue is really strong. <laughs> For lack of a better word. Alright, we have a guy, a Kaiser. Snow Dragon. <laughs> no Hollow, unfortunately, on that one. I think I've opened a lot of Abyss Rising packs lately. There we go. See, you can hear that glue. Uh, Galactic Overlord. Butter Spy. Lady of V. See, we have Absorbing Jar for our rear. I like a Influence Dragon. It's pretty cool. It looks like a baby Stardust. Like a... Something like that. I guess that's what he's supposed to be. I don't know. I guess Debris Dragon is really the baby Stardust. See, this one's Storm of Ragnarok. Let's see what we can get from this one. See, uh, uh, <laughs> Tannin Snore, uh, of the Nordic Beasts, I think I pronounced it right, I don't know, Nordic Beasts, or, or Nordic Monsters in general, really, are really hard to pronounce, so, that's why I was laughing, it's like, ah, of all the things, you guys know I can't pronounce cards the best anyway, and they give me a Nordic card. So, uh, Return of the Duelist, can you save us and give us at least one hollow from this opening? Let's see, Chronomalies... So we have a Revival Golem, which is kind of a pain to get in. Aw. Unfortunately, we failed. No Hollow. Oh, well. Mainly got it for the giant Yu-Gi-Oh card, so still worth it. Uh, of course, not going to open up the structure deck. We have an opening already. If you want to see that, of course, it's, I'll try to have it in the description or something. Uh, so, yeah. Basically been collecting structure decks. Lately. I don't know. Might do some kind of big contest with these or something. I don't know. I might just keep them just because they look cool. It's kind of nice to have them sealed. Like maybe one of these days this will be worth a lot because they'll be hard to find. I don't... I, I, maybe. <laughs> uh, we'll do some kind of contest soon. I'm already planning a contest. We'll probably have that tomorrow or later tonight. So I already have a contest planned for you guys, but maybe we'll do some with Structure Decks. We'll, we'll think about it. As always, uh, thank you for watching. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. And like I said, we'll probably do a video over the giant Yu-Gi-Oh cards that I have that I've collected from different value boxes and stuff. Alright, later guys.